December 31st deadline, Minnesota officials reported more than 53,000 people had successfully chosen a health insurance plan through Minsure. But that number leaves out a group of people who have been trying, some for several months, to sign up for coverage on the website but got nowhere. News Center's Nicole Goodrich talked with one of those families and joins us live now in the newsroom with their story. Nicole. Tom and Robin, we don't know how many people there are in similar situations across the state, but Sarah Niemeyer's experience with the website has left her baffled. Sarah Niemeyer's experience with Minger has been, in a word, frustrating. And after months of trying, at the start of 2014, she's back at square one. It just, unfortunately, has not worked itself out and the deadline has passed. Niemeyer says her experience started more than two months ago when she tried to sign up. The application itself probably took about an hour and a half. Then she went weeks without seeing any results on the website until she eventually received two identical mailings on the same day that said the same thing. We qualified for advanced premium tax credit. But when she logged into the website, she got a totally different result. We qualified for medical assistance and that we would have a zero monthly premium. And there were no other options for enrollment because it was just, that was the one choice, just your medical assistant and that's it. So confused, she called into Minsure and after an hour on the phone, she got another completely different result. We actually didn't qualify for anything. No tax credits, no subsidies. She'd have to pick and pay full price for the plans on the website that she couldn't access yet. And before she even got access, Niemeyer got another mailing. This one had the most surprising result of all. We actually don't qualify for anything, not even a health plan, because we are not Minnesota residents. The thing is, Niemeyer has lived in Minnesota her entire life, and the letter was mailed to her Preston address. And if you're counting, that's four completely different responses from Minsure, but no options to actually sign up for coverage. Because of the kids, we have to have insurance. And my son developed a condition this year, so we have to have some kind of insurance. Minsure has publicly addressed problems with a software created by an IBM group called IBM Curam. The software was designed to determine income eligibility for applicants exactly like Niemeyer. Last month, more than 80 IBM Curam employees were brought in to fix the problem, but it wasn't fixed soon enough for Niemeyer, who had to go back on her old plan, which had gone up in price. It just does not feel like this was a benefit or that this is actually affordable health care because it's only increased what we have to pay. But Niemeyer says she's not giving up. The next enrollment period is for February 1st and ends on January 15th. But for Neumeyer and others trying to buy health care on the exchange, they're facing even more problems. Today, a message on the Minsure website said account and application services were down for a portion of the day. And Minsure has announced they'll be down again all weekend. Live in the newsroom, Nicole Goodrich, KTDC News Center.